Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another edition of Phil's Five. I hope your Wednesday is going well, as you see by the date. It's uh, December 7th. It's Pearl Harbor Day, and 81 years ago uh, from the infamous attack on our naval forces there at Pearl Harbor, and just kind of makes you think back to, at least me at least, thinking back to the greatest generation and how they're getting fewer and fewer by the day. In fact, I think I read yesterday that there are only uh, two survivors left of the USS Arizona. Of course, uh, about half of the fatalities that day were uh, on the Arizona. So if you ever get a chance, go to the monument that they have there. Um, it's something I think every American should see. And if you uh, find yourself making your way out to Hawaii, uh, be sure to check that out and um, just be thinking about that generation, uh, some of our parents, some of our grandparents or great-grandparents and all that they did in the years that followed that to deliver uh, the world from evil. So um, definitely switching gears from there to what's going on here at the Dallas Builders Association. We had uh, last night a really great, uh, amazing Multifamily Builders Council Christmas party. A big thanks to Samsung for being the title partner of that. They made their annual $5,000 donation to the Samaritan Inn that over uh, many years, they've they've been able to donate $125,000 uh, to the Collin County Shelter, and it uh, does a really good community service. It takes in uh, women, uh, families who are in need of um, uh, some help. You know, they're in an abusive situation or whatever the case may be. Uh, it helps uh, through the toy drive. The uh, disadvantaged parents have toys for uh, their their kids at Christmas, and they were able to collect about a hundred uh, different toys for the Santa workshop there. Uh, congratulations to Dave Roberts with Stanford Construction as well, who received the Superintendent of the Year Award. Uh, the Dallas Division's also in the spirit of giving. They had a community service project last week. Members brought in dozens of coats, uh, socks, gloves, winter hats at the lunch meeting, and that was a nice benefit for uh, North Dallas Shared Ministries. And appreciate both of those groups and all those involved helping out on uh, the season of giving here. We have next week a contracts class coming up on December 14th. Bush Rudnicki Shelton is going to be here to present some of the updates that happened to that package. It's a uh, uh, two-year subscription that runs after the legislature lets out, so there's going to be another one of those coming up in 2023, a new version, potentially a lot of changes depending on what the legislature does. Uh, big thanks to Structure Home Warranty for being the partner there, and you can register at dallasbuilders.org. Also, the Texas Association of Builders is taking sign-ups now for committees and councils. If you're interested in that, go to texasbuilders.org forward slash membership. There's going to be a link in the punch list today, and those final appointments are due in at the end of next month, so on, on January 31st. The uh, McSam Awards are also coming up right around the corner. Uh, it's going to be April 22nd at the Statler Hotel in Dallas. The official call for entries is out. Structure Home Warranty has stepped up to be the title partner of that event. And this is very important. It's no longer just for volume builders. There are custom builder categories and remodeler categories that are newly introduced for next year. Uh, so we're pumped about that. The early bird deadline is on Valentine's Day, February 14th. Final deadline is going to be on March the 13th. You can check out the partnership opportunities and everything else at mcsamawards.com. And I appreciate you checking out Phil's Five on this Wednesday. Like I said, hope your week is going well. Keep on building and we'll talk to you next time. Bye.